Hi, this is Rebecca from Shenzhen 3D Metaverse Technology. Uh, we provide 3D solution to any companies. We can do optical design, uh, software licensing, and also do a previous machine link for our uh, optical requirements. Does it do eye tracking or how does it work? Yeah, this is eye tracking tablet. It's a 3D tablet. We design lenticular lens to the tablet, then we do uh, lamination. We developed our own 3D software for this. Also, uh, we do the eye tracking algorithm development by ourselves. So, uh, for the eye tracking display, you do not need to adjust the position to see 3D effect. So the camera will catch the position of the eyes. So you can see the comfortable and the pop out zero effect. It just pops. Yeah, in it's place. a pop out. Even when we play three D content. And no need to have three D camera. Just no one need camera. One single camera only. So we can see the side by side content is supported so far. And here I see a, a holographic display. Is it a light yeah. field or how does it work? Uh, it's a light field hollow frame. We do multi view for this lenticular design, so we can check the effect. What is the angles that work? Angles sixty degree. Sixty degree. Yeah, left and right each thirty degree. So we do forty nine views for this hollow frame. So the most important thing we do is that we have the two D to three D conversion algorithm. We have our own app for these holograms, users can upload only 2D image for the, uh, to the cloud. We do streaming and convert it to 3D automatically. When the uh, 3D is down, it will be downloaded to the device automatically. It looks so cool. And uh, what I want to see, I want to see Messi speak with me. I want to speak with him. I want to say, hey, Messi. What time it is? And then you say, hey, uh, uh, it's we 4 need to PM. Some integrate some. Uh, it's just software, no? Yeah, yeah. software. Somebody can do it, right? Yes, we can cooperate with anyone who can do the ChatGPT development. They should just contact you now. Yes. If there's a guy who say, I know how to do it, he put the software. Yes. And maybe uh, this is not. Is there any chance the price is good? The price is good for consumers now. How good? It's about. Uh, almost the uh, uh, 185 US dollars per set. That's very affordable. And you can have, you can say, hey, chat GPT, and boom. And this lizard could be speaking back at you, or she can speak back at you, based on a, a language uh, model and the, uh, the whole learning and stuff. It yeah, could be it, your friend in a little box. Yeah, they also make some advertising, 3D advertising is still available. So we have another 3D devices. This is the 3D phone. This is our software for that. So we can check early 3D video. So is this also 3D with, with the eye, eye tracking? Yes, with eye tracking function. What does the eye tracking do? So usually when we see the multi-view angle devices, we need to adjust left and right to find the proper position to see the 3D effects. But now when we have eye tracking, the camera will calculate the position of the eyes of the viewers. So Maximize the resolution where you are. Uh, Instead of putting a lower resolution, it's better resolution because it tracks the eye. We, we, we recommend the better resolution. The higher the resolution it is, the better 3D effect it has. And a bright display need to be? Uh, yes, you really will recommend three nits and above. 300, 300 nits? 300 nits above. 300 nits. Uh, so, uh, is your company uh, famous in this business? Uh, we have done this business for many years. So, we can supply on the optical design and the software license to any company who wants to do 3D. Is this a photo from this fair? Yeah, this is a photo taken by 2D, then our uh, algorithm converted Convert. it to, to 3D automatically. You need to use portrait mode, no? Yes, this one supports portrait mode portrait only. Portrait mode from the camera app? But for the phone, we support landscape mode. Uh, to get the 3D information, uh, sorry about that. Uh, to get the 3D information, mm -hmm. uh, you, 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 for example, you take a photo, 
and you yeah. just go in portrait mode and then there will be 3D information in the photo. Yes, but we need to do this function in our app. In the app, ah, so in you need a special app. camera. Yeah, common camera, but we do it in by software. So that is real time 2D to 3D, we take a photo. So what I want to do is I want to take a 3D video of a person, that, record the voice, yes. and then the person speak to me. Oh. That's what I want, you know? Uh, I know. Software guys can do it, right? Yes, yeah, so it takes some time to make integration. But it's possible maybe this could be a part of this product. Yes. Because uh, then you could have pop out a uh, light field. What is the resolution on the screen? Is uh, it? This one is, uh, is let it? me see. Is it full HD or more than uh, full HD? More than full HD. It's not 4K, no? Not 4K, 15, uh, maybe 1536 by 2048. So 2.8K or something. But uh, so if you can get a 4K screen here, there will be more effect. If you have better resolution and a better 3D. And better brightness? Yes. It bright, uh, brightness depends on the backlight, actually. S somebody make 4K display this size? Yes, we also have, by the way, packed already. Packed, uh, sorry, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah. late. What is the screen we see here? Uh, this is the LCD module. Get My colleague here. Claire will introduce more about this product. Yeah. All right. Uh, Hi. Hi. Nice to to you. Yeah. Yeah, there is our product for smart home solution and there has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and you can link to your app so you can control it uh, when you are in office, uh, anywhere and uh, uh, there has um, many sites for uh, people can choose uh, like round or uh, square and uh, mm, uh, we uh, work the, all of the displays with ESP chips and uh, it's very popular chips for the software. So it's, is it um, uh, Espressive? Yes. Espressive uh, ARM CPU, small little embedded CPU with a UI from the embedded world. Yeah, it works very well with ESP chips. Uh, and uh, for software, you can uh, debug or, or uh, program it by yourself. Uh, we can share the SDK to you and you can um, debug the, any devices if they need a display. Uh, what's the price for one of these or this? Well, it's very cheap, uh, maybe more than 10 to $20. For how many pieces? Uh, you need to buy many, many? Uh, or sample, they can discuss with you and develop something and then make a big big business out of it. Oh, this is for the smart home? For smart home, it's a rotary screen. You can push it and you can choose different function. Nice. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much.